I've got the Jazz game on. I'll try not to get too distracted. Going into the fourth quarter, it's a close game. Today, brought to you by Burn Your Tongue Booth as always. Spice Heaven, just shelves full of spice sauce. Anything that you need, anything that you want down there for flavor. I already opened this one. Me and my dad actually uh, gave it a little demo. So, awesome. But I'm going to keep going at it because it is that awesome. I've got two. I've got two little facts for you pertaining to this. One, bananas float. They float. I've never tried it, but apparently bananas float. I didn't just wink at you. My eye for the last like couple weeks has been doing this weird like twitch. Okay, anyways, bananas float like watermelons and apples, apparently. I didn't know that. The other one, the fastest marathon ran by somebody in a costume was two hours and 58 minutes and 20 seconds in 2011 in Barcelona. And guess what they were dressed as? A banana, yeah. I've got my dad's. I've got my dad's review right here, um, and actually, he had a dab of it. Pretty good sized dab. Enjoyed it enough that he went back for more. So that says something. Wanted to get the full effect of it. Uh, we got Taste Works presents Bamanana, Bamanana. <laughs> So, um, follow these guys. I went down to the website, checked it out. Seekthespice.com. S-E-E-K-T-H-E-S-P-I-C-E.com. They actually use fresh bananas for this. Okay. Uh, follow them on Instagram at Bomba underscore nation. Um, the ingredients in this, the... Vinegar, water, banana, spices, salt, uh, chilies, the chipotle chilies, arbol chilies, and the and the gum. Um, coming out of uh, Inkster, Michigan. So I read some of the reviews. The, the little uh, the, the feedback customers have left on the website. There's a guy that. Jazz, jazz are going. So there's a guy that takes a bottle of this into restaurants with him. He likes it that much. He actually takes a bottle from his own house into the restaurants, wherever he's eating, and he puts this on the food because he loves the flavor so much. People are like, that, that whole Frank slogan of, uh, I put that on everything. Apparently, there's a lot of other reviews that are saying this is the stuff that they're putting it on. And I actually, after just trying it with my dad, I believe it. This is like an enjoyable, like really good, I mean, this is like, this is like a sauce canoe. Um, I think one of the reviews, somebody had even said they were using, they were, they were just going to the, to the fridge, getting a spoon, pouring themselves a little spoon of it and just So my dad, his was, the hot effect is obviously there. He was saying a, like a mid-medium. It's probably about right. Mild medium in the middle of there. So his first test, the banana was faint, not forceful. He says the bottom lip was numb. He must have, must have got some on that lip going in. It was tingly. I didn't think that he was going to go back for a second go. He was just like, I want to taste the banana a little bit. So, originally, like, yeah. It's faint, but you can definitely taste, you can definitely taste the banana in there. So I'd had it on chips. I've had it on sauce canoes. And of course, why wouldn't it go on chicken wings, right? So, I believe it. Bamanana, taste works. And they actually have a Mui Mui. So they've got a hotter version of this that's also available to get. Mui Mui is the hotter. 
Right now, I'm probably saying mild, medium. It's probably where I'd put that. It's a mild, medium. It's got a little tingly on the lips for sure. The taste is more of a sweet, spicy, sweet. And then if you pay really close attention, like right, the, the moment the, the moment that you start the moment that you start with it is when you taste the banana. It's not like a lingering banana. It's just immediately and then it goes more into the, the vinegar spice heat. Um, yeah. I've never taken a bottle of anything. Like I see people take like ranch bottles and stuff in, which is whatever. Nothing surprises me anymore. But I've never taken a bottle in. I don't blame the guy. I don't blame the guy for doing it. It's kind of weird. Like, because I do like to taste some food sometimes. It doesn't always have to be drenched in hot sauce. But it's got a lot of flavor. So I don't blame the guy. It's really good stuff, actually. Bamanana. Seekthespice.com. It's really good stuff. So, a couple reviews ago, I did. This truff, the hotter sauce, the the black truffle, um, got the 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 mild version of it, not the hotter, but the original black truffle, the uh, the truff chili blend, red chili peppers, vinegar, organic sugar, garlic, salt, black truffle. Organic guava nectar, olive oil infused with black truffle essence, uh, the spices, and from what I did see is uh, is, is is Roger down there at the at the burner tone. He said that the, the cap represents the actual like the size of of what, of what a truffle is. I've never I've never seen them, like in person. I mean, I've seen it on the on the TV. I think I seen an episode of like Conan when he was out like looking for truffles or Conan O'Brien looking out looking for truffles. But apparently that's the size of, of what an actual truffle looks like. So uh, this is this this stuff is awesome. This stuff is awesome. It's hot and it's the exact level basically of the, the heat that I enjoy using on, on stuff that, that I'm eating. It is uh, it is probably on the on the the high medium side. I think I did like a seven high seven maybe as far as the heat goes. Really good though. So excited to try this because that's really enjoyable. And I mean, if it even is taken down a little bit as far as the heat, I mean, you could. This might be Cheerios. I mean, you might be you might be be able to brush your teeth with this stuff. I might need to get an adult to open this bottle for Molly got up. It smells really good. Yeah, it's got that. It's got that that truffle smell, that distinct smell. Okay, that one's a little sweeter. Yeah. Wow. Got the truffle taste. It's definitely a toned down version of this, but the flavor is unreal. That's definitely a mild. It's definitely a mild. The cat doesn't want to go on, and I think that's just the universe just trying to say that you need to have another one. It's so good. It is so good. It's worth every penny. Having this makes me very interested as far as the the white truffle now. Both of these are amazing. These are both amazing.
They switch it. Patrick Patterson's now on Rudy and he's grabbing him. If I didn't say top 10 last time, did you hear that? Even David Locke just said something about top 10. Ooh, okay. Truff's in it. Easily. Easily top 10. As far as stuff that I've, that I've been able to sample, review, demo. Good stuff. Top 10. Highly recommend. And you know what? Before we go, while I was down there, I got to do another shout to Bear River Bottling up there in Logan. My bottle was almost empty. I had to get a refill. You guys. Bear River Bottling, Dr. Scoville's Sweet Jalapeno Grass Fire. I think I saw one more bottle down there. If you haven't tried this, if you have not tried this, it will blow your mind. Get on down there. If it's not done, if that bottle's not down there, they'll restock. I promise you that. This stuff is the bee's knees, okay? Go check it out, Burn Your Tongue booth. Highly recommend. Bomanana. Keep a bottle home, put one in your put one in your car. So when you go to Buffalo Wild Wings, you actually have something that actually has some taste. <laughs> that place is trash. Enjoy, go jazz. Bear River Bottling, highly recommend. Bomanana. Bamanana from Tasteworks. Truff. Top 10. Do you know what? They're all top. Every single one of them. We'll pick them up.